Job is the 800-pound theological gorilla sitting in the living room of the prosperity preachers, none of whom want to admit is there. Job's a problem for the faith preachers because here you have a man who was upright and righteous. doesn't mean that he was sinless, but he had done nothing really of deserving of all the things that happened to him, and yet God still allowed Satan to come and, and to strike from Job everything that he had. His possessions destroyed. His family, dead. His own health, deteriorated. Job suffered unimaginably. Job's a problem for the prosperity preachers. So what do they do with Job? It's hard to ignore an entire book out of the Bible. So you know what they do to Job? They turn the tables on Job. They say that all these calamities fell upon Job because they were all results of his negative confessions. Job spoke negative words, and he brought all of these things upon himself. Do they really teach that? Yes, they do. This from Joyce Meyer. She says, For the thing which I greatly fear comes upon me, and that of which I am afraid befalls me. Fear is a terrible emotion, a self-fulfilling one. Job had fears concerning his children and finally reached a place in his life where he saw his fears coming to pass. The Bible says it will be unto us as we believe. Matthew 9, 29 totally takes that out of context. That principle works in the negative as well as the positive.